Hi traders, good morning. Welcome to this update on the euro dollar and pound dollar for the last two days in August before we head to new month of September. Where we'll do an update again on the 1st of September on the euro dollar and pound dollar on Wednesday. Uh, as always, of course, be a little bit careful with that last day of the, the month and quarter. They are usually a little bit more volatile. All right, euro dollar. So uh, price was in a downtrend, as you can see, uh, making a lot of lower lows and uh, lower highs, waves four and fives. And uh, eventually ran out of steam uh, end of uh, two weeks ago. And you can see the momentum here already coming into the market, uh, breaking above the 20 minute without only breaking above it, but also this, the, the speed of those one hour candles, three strong bullish candles in a row. And that's a pattern that I typically look for as an indication of, uh, of, of a reversal. But not only that, Fractal sailing above the 20 minute and price suspecting the 20 minute HMA. Uh, blue bullish and also breaking above it. So those are early signs that uh, a, a larger kind of correction is taking place. You can see that we didn't have that in this piece going downwards. And indeed, price uh, challenging the 20, uh, 144 EMA and 233 EMA zone. That would be the logical target of any retracement. That is the minimum what we expect uh, of, a, of a retracement when there is divergence pattern of, of available or present. And of course we had that we had about on the one hour chart we had triple divergence one two three four maybe even three i think actually sorry one uh two and, and three so that would be the minimum what we'd expect is this zone and you'll see in uh, my video how useful it is to know how the moving averages work how to use those moving averages i'm going to explain all of that in this video and that's why if if you're not sure how to use it, you know, taking a look at my SWAT course would certainly help because I explain all of that in detail there. So when we got to the target, price actually broke above it. And that's an indication that more bullishness is, to, is expected. That's why I was, uh, one of the reasons why I was a little bit more bullish uh, in, in my first videos last week after my break uh, is, is this break. Is this break above the long-term moving averages? That's one of the aspects that I took into account now it did become choppy so we had a break flag continuation but it was quite choppy wasn't it now that's because we got a squeeze we got a squeeze between the long term, uh the let's say long term and the very long term moving average so the very long term was resistance and the normal long term was uh support and you can see it was bouncing off both right bouncing off support and also bouncing off resistance and we had a triangle pattern and eventually it did break to the upside for that bigger correction uh, higher all right on the four hour chart we can see with the swat candles the blue candle already arriving here that's indicating a potential reversal trade if there's a divergence pattern and we think that the reversal is possible not all reversal candles uh, are tradable like this one would not have gone too far and would not have been that great of a trade. It would have made maybe some pips, but not advisable. This one is different because of the divergence pattern on the four hour chart, on the one hour chart. And of course the wave pattern suggested as well that uh, this was a wave five of five of five or so of C probably finishing. So indeed price made it to the 144 EMA, but respected the 21 EMA zone and uh, is moving higher. So at this point, I think that if price, uh, basically if, uh, and there are more SWAT candles here, indicating a continuation with the blue blue um, diamond anyhow if uh, if we get a break into 118.25 uh and a flag i think there's a continuation possible up in this zone you can see the space here between with five and with six uh, the resistance top is way up here so that's not too much of a concern um and of course there's a space until the very long term moving average so there's a nice nice space there and i think that if price um, can make a flag pattern and bounce or, or hit with five and flag pattern or even break and flag pattern and bounce. All of that would be good for a move up into 118.50, 118.75 uh, basically. So I think it looks bullish to me for, for now, for the moment. But it, of course, I have to indicate that that could be a heavy resistance zone and there's a previous top and that could easily send it back down. So got to be very careful of that zone could easily be a good spot for looking for reversals, bearish reversals, and moves back down because all of this could still be just a simple ABC pattern uh, of, a, of a larger downtrend. We don't know. Let's take a look at the daily chart for that. All right, so 
<clears throat> main question is, is this a, a wave one, two, three, or an ABC? Now, so far, I would lean towards ABC, but it could easily be a one, two, three. But for a one, two, three, uh, it certainly would need to move a little bit further down, of course. And uh, it would have to start picking up some momentum. But it could. So what kind of signals are we looking for? We're looking for a red candle. And even here, you can see how the moving averages are, are useful. Retracement down to the 144.233 zone, bounce, break below it, down to the long term moving average. And now we're getting a, a squeeze between um, the long term and the very long term, as you can see. So which way is it going to break? Uh, and that depends. I don't. I don't want to. It depends. This is a daily chart, so we have to, you know to take a look at fundamentals and stuff, and that's always tricky in my view. But um, I, I rather stick to technicals. Uh, but the break is going to, yeah, basically is going to be guided by the daily chart. So if we see a, if we see daily candles push through this resistance, then a bullish breakout, of course, is looking good. If we see I would say red candles below uh, the 21 EMA zone here, and uh, and the bottom, of course. Then, of, then obviously the bearish breakout is looking good. So it's it's quite simple, maybe, but that's what I'm looking for for the daily chart. It's really an answer uh, to that long-term picture. If it breaks above this, this is more looking like an ABC pattern, of course. And we could be an uptrend. If it starts to break below the 21 EMA zone again, uh, with a strong daily candle and, and red candle. Then, of course, we might be heading down to that minus 272 target. And it could still be an ABC pattern if it heads to the minus 272 target. But that's the first step of a downtrend, too. And uh, if it goes further, of course, the more pip targets it breaks, the more it's starting to look like a wave 3, obviously, specifically if it breaks through the minus 61.8 target and also even the minus 272 target, actually. But so, yeah, those are, those are two key targets to see uh, to be broken to the downside. Uh, but I wouldn't wait for that before trading it. For me, the 21 EMA zone here break would be important. And the bottom, because it's also a head and shoulders pattern, potentially. So, got to see both, I think. The 21 EMA and, and this 117 level break for a downside. Let's get rid of this fib. And uh, let's go to the weekly chart. Sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. So, if you hear me swallowing and... Um, and coughing and uh, in my nose, then that's that's the reason. <laughs> so yeah, um, bullish candle last week, bouncing off the 144 EMA here, and we could get a squeeze as well on the moving averages, as you can see with the 21 and the 144 EMA. Uh, sorry, the long-term moving average there as resistance and the long-term moving averages as support. So let's see where the break is here too, and we could get easily a consolidation here before we have that breakout as well. Keep in mind. And this month, monthly candle, not finished yet, but showing some wick. Last two days left, though, it could be very volatile, so we have to wait for that. Here, too, um, not even a squeeze, it's just flat. These moving averages are flat on top of each other, so we've come to an equilibrium point in the long run. <coughs> it's going to be interesting to see how that breaks out. It's quite logical because we had an uptrend here, of course, then it went back into a downtrend, and then price has made... Uh, a uh, higher uh, low and a lower high, so it's logical that it's kind of getting into that uh, particular kind of uh, equilibrium point at this moment. Okay, anyhow, um, for me, uh, a a retracement and continuation seems likely, and if if it does that, that doesn't mean it's bullish because we have this long term resistance still. That could easily be a bouncing spot. And the price could retest again, support around here. And that could also be a bouncing spot. And it could stay in a triangle like that until we have a clear breakout above here, or I would say below 117. Above here is about 119.25. Above 119 already is looking bullish in my view. So those are the key levels, 119 for upside, 117 for downside. Until then, I'm leaning towards an upside because it is in a bullish mode. For continuation up to 119.50, 118.75, and, and 119, which in turn could be a bouncing spot for a modest move down, maybe to uh, 118 or 117, 75-ish, uh, um, 117.50. Those are my two cents on the the euro dollar at least. Pound USD. All right. So, yeah, I had a strong bounce, higher low. 
broke above the 20 minute MA, made a retracement and bounced back to the 144 MA. And, um, but is, yeah, is in a bullish mode, but is struggling with breaking through this resistance at the same time. And you can see the 144 MA and this trend line um, acting as a, as a major headache here for, for the pound that cannot really break through that. And there is a strong resistance level or layer here of the all moving averages nicely lined up. So that could be a little bit tricky for price to move into that zone. See that resistance on the moving averages on uh, on all time frames, in fact. Uh, literally all time frames monthly has it too. And uh, it's stuck between the 14 and 21, as you can see on the monthly weekly also stuck in the middle daily it has that resistance above it as well as you can see so it's a tricky spot for our two and uh even the one hour it's squeezed so very squeezed uh as you can see by the moving averages so i it's possible it could break but it could be very tricky break and very volatile and, and not move too much so i'm not too big of a fan of that <laughs> Um, and if it does break, I think the target is so close by at around 138, 138.10 that I would not uh, trade that <clears throat> unless it's maybe on a five minute chart. So unless it really breaks, um, very clearly here above 138 and it starts to make a flag and then bounce, I would, in that case, look for the bounce to the upside. That's fine. But otherwise I would be careful. If it, if it shows reversal patterns here, it uh, after the higher high, it might be worth trading to the downside in my view. Always risky, of course, but uh, reversal trade like that, but it could make sense. If it doesn't break for a higher high, <clears throat> but instead um, drops and dips, I think it could still be a good uh, bouncing spot because this is, this is a channel. And uh, if it's a retest that the, the support of the channel, around 137.25, uh, 137, um, yeah, 25 probably optimal, I guess. Uh, it could easily bounce there as well and retest the resistance, make a low, higher low again, and maybe break to the upside. Uh, I'm leaning towards a break to the upside, but um, because I think that we have a higher low, and I think that this, this leg will go further, I think it will retest the 78.65 maybe, or the 88 of this swing, up at 139, 139.40. So I think that uh, looking for a bounce here makes sense, or for break, pullback, and continuation, as I already explained, into that 139, 139.40 zone. Like that. Of course, of course, if it breaks through the channel, then uh, the bullishness is out of the window. And... Uh, yeah, we'll have to be on guard for something else. Sorry, folks, my phone is ringing. Uh, sorry for that, folks. Okay, I'm back after the phone call. Um, yeah, so if it breaks that, of course, well, in, in that case, um, it could be a move lower, and uh, we might be looking at the minus 272 target, the minus 61 point target, and probably the euro dollar will follow suit in, in that case as well. Okay, so um, that's it for now. Uh, if, uh, of course, if you're interested in the lead currency, would be glad to see you there. Check out our automated trading here, uh, at our front page, elitecurrency.com. Click here on earn 7% per month, and you'll go to our automated trading system, ZUCA. And soon we're going to be launching a portfolio approach. Very exciting. Uh, I've mentioned that already for people who follow us for a few months, but we are getting uh, very close now. So, uh, wish everyone great trading. Appreciate your feedback on Forex Peace Army and Trust Pilot, of course. Thank you so much. And see you um, on Wednesday. All right. Cheers. Bye bye.